Hey, what's going on? Build this Krosama here. And I downloaded the Japanese Gundam Breaker mobile because a certain mobile suit just released in kit form today. And that was the high grade Sandrock. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be very much upfront. I don't like the Sandrock. I don't think it's really a great design. Even when I was a kid, I absolutely hated it. But I did see a review on it uh, from a Japanese YouTuber, and honestly, I don't think it looks that bad. I think the articulation is really good, and the heat shot holes are pretty cool looking, to be honest. And I already have the Master Grade EW and the um, the OVA Sam Rock, so I was like, well, I might as well get the high grade because I don't have that particular version in my collection. Um, so, hey, I picked it up, and guess what? It comes with a Gundam Breaker code. Now, this code is only available for Gundam Breaker Mobile, which is a Japanese-only server. Um, it, you know, it's not—it's pretty—it's the same game, but this game, and well, the Japanese side has a particular uh, code that you can actually put in, or a code option, and I'll show you real quick. And here it is. So this little tab right here is uh, unavailable for the American or you know anywhere else in the global uh, regions. But yeah, you can go ahead and input any code in here that's going to come with, you know, different merchandise and all that. Um, or something that might be like, uh, kind of like a little promotion thing. But yeah, so I inputted the code and you do get a full Sandrock kit. Now this is a default 3 star and it starts off at level 1. Everything is level 1 including traits as well as the EX skills. So that's going to be unfortunate if you're really going to want to max out certain parts because... You're going to have to buy about, what, 10 of the uh, the kits just to get it. Uh, but you can actually purchase the suit itself in-game, to my knowledge. Now, also, everything is in Japanese. So, I both me and my wife had to translate some of this. And my wife kind of had a hard time translating directly into English. So, she did the best that she could. We used some little translator apps. And yeah, this is still some things I don't really uh, know nor really remember. Uh, but you can easily find it online. I'm pretty sure it's going to be on a uh, on a Reddit. Maybe like there's a couple of people who already translated it and kind of explained it. But honestly, like I this mobile suit in particular is not really worth my time to go deep diving and recording. You know what each everything does to the exact translation. Uh, but I can tell you exactly what um, you know me and my wife translated. So we're going to start with the head real quick. And just looking at the base stats, uh, I'm going to go to max. Honestly, the entire suit is what you would kind of expect from a 3-star. But at the same time, I mean, I've seen better default 3-stars. These stats are really going to be unimpressive to you guys. They're like, they're worse, like, they're worse than even like, I think, Gusion. Uh, which is pretty bad, but for the most part, yeah, the, the entire mobile suit stats are not going to be good whatsoever. Now with this one, um, so me and my wife translated this as um, self as defender, your EX skill power is going to increase by 15%. So honestly, the head really isn't that bad if you're a defender type. If you have like um, a really good you know, EX skill, so maybe something like Iron Impact, um, to my knowledge, that's what this is applying to, is that power is going to increase by 15%. So, really good. I, I was trying to ask her, like, is it talking about, like, melee um, EX? Is it talking about beam? Because I wasn't seeing that. Uh, she said, no, it's just EX uh, skill power is increased by 15%. And we're looking at the body. Um, you, you know, the armor isn't horrible, but it's not really great. Uh, everything else is pretty much going to be abysmal. So, let's take a look at the actual EX skill. So this is basically just going to be like some Vulcans. Um, really is just bad, to be honest. Uh, six seconds is going to be your initial um, cooldown. You got 21 seconds, B minus in, um, in your power, and then D in piercing. So all this is saying is that it's just firing some shots. There's no debuff or anything. So it's to me, this is really, really bad. And we'll take a look at the arms. Man, these arms are horrible. That melee attack is just... It's got awful. And I know people are saying, like, oh, you're comparing it to default level fours dude comparing this to default level threes is going to be horrible um but looking at the trait so this is if your armor is 70 percent or more i believe it states that shooting um your enemy shooting power is reduced by 18 percent that's that's what i'm kind of seeing and uh yeah that if that's the case then that's not horrible um it, it means 
kind of acting as a defender type, so having your enemy, you know, being reduced with the uh, shot attack, that's pretty good. I, I would have to clarify if it's enemy or enemies, but I'm assuming it's enemies, because uh, how would it select one individual enemy uh, to reduce their shot? So um, I, I think it's okay. Um, the arms, as far as the trait, is fine. But once again, this is the, a defender, and I'm not seeing much in terms of defense nor attack. Hey, we're looking at the legs. Uh, this is pretty much going to be, I think, the... Uh, oh, so I think this says, while moving, if you get attacked, um, it says like 18%. I think it's like 18% beam damage is reduced. I, I'm probably way off, but that's... I think it's like when moving. Um, so if someone can clarify this for me, that would be amazing. Uh, because, yeah, like I said, I'm not going deep diving into Reddit. But I think that's what it says. Like something about running. And if you get hit by an enemy. I think it's I think it's melee. I think it's melee damage is reduced by 18%. So, yeah, it's not too bad. Now comes one of the most... This is... I don't know. I really am not feeling this. So, the backpack stats, eh, it's kind of meh for a level 3. But the thing is, the heat shot tolls are on the backpack. You don't get these as, as an actual part. You don't get its main melee weapon as its main weapon. It's an EX skill, and that's horrible. They need to stop this practice. Um, but going into the EX skill, it is a melee, uh, uh, a physical melee attack. Uh, B plus in piercing, you got D in power, initials 3 seconds, which isn't horrible, 21 seconds after. Um, there's no debuff or anything. Well, actually, there's a debuff. Now I'm reading. Um, debuff 29%. Mm, what does that say? So essentially, I'll show y'all in the video, but it takes the heat shot tolls, puts it on the, um, the shield, kind of like it does in the anime. And it's like a, like a fang, like something fang attack, and it just hits the enemy. Um, but... 29%, what was it, what does this do? Does it reduce enemies something by 29%? I'm not too sure. It does something reducing something by 29%. Uh, then you are going to have two more items, which is going to be the beam, not the beam rifle, um, the uh, machine gun. So you do have a machine gun. That shot attack is horrible, my lads. Horrible, horrible shot attack. Um, look over here, speed. Um, so if you're a speed attribute, something set damage, I think, is reduced by 15. Oh, no, 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 wait. If your speed attribute machine gun increased by 15, that could be it. Okay, yeah, I'm not too sure. And lastly, we're taking a look at the shield. Uh, so I would say that the shield defenses aren't, well, the melee defenses are okay. Um, actually, I think that's the shot. No, yeah, that's the shot uh, defenses. So the shot defenses are kind of meh. Uh, but take a look at this. So speed, EX skill. Mm, I don't know what that EX skill increase of 18% uh, is. It could be damage. It could be overall uh, EX skill damage increased by 18%. That may be the case. But yeah, if your self is um, speed attribute, then yeah, something of EX skill is increased by 18%. So that could be either physical EX skill is increased by 18 or it's just EX skill. Oh, recovery. That's recovery. Yeah. So I think it's EX skill recovery uh, type is increased by 18%. That's horrible. <laughs> Well, if you're a defender type, then I guess having maybe like a, a head unit of like Barbatos or even the body of the Alex and then healing by be, with being a uh, defender, I mean, you're going to be a self-contained tank. So that's not really too bad. Uh, but yeah, really, guys, I, don't, I mean, I don't even like the way it looks. Uh, but hey, let's go ahead and we'll drag it into uh, to battle. All right, so jumping right in. I'm in story mode right now, so this could be short. But I'm just going in there by myself. Alright, so... And I'm on my bad phone, so really do apologize about that. So this is that, uh, the Heat Shall Tolls attack, which I guess is okay. And then this is going to be the Chest Cannons. So, I'm going to let it charge, and I'm going to try and do those uh, EX skills once more. 
These guys really aren't going to be able to do any damage. They're just doing ones. Um, like, I'm right in the beginning of the story mode, so... Hmm. Alright, so it's going to take a bit. Alright, so we got charge, and let's attack. It's really not a... That's not a bad-looking attack, so it, it definitely reduced something. So I think that reduces enemy defense by 18%. And then we just use our little chest cannon. Okay, so that's it. Um, I mean, I don't even have a way to customize this suit for you guys because I'm on a Japanese account. And honestly, I'm not going to be chilling here playing this account. This is kind of like me. Um, in case they, they release more like codes in, in Gundam kits, this is where I'm going to just input the code and you know review the model for you guys. Uh, but hopefully they start doing this for a global because... It just seems like bad practice, and especially like just in terms of trying to do an inclusion of the Western audience into the Gumpla scene, this is a big smack in the face, in my opinion. So, whether it's Bandai Namco or it's, you know, Bandai Spirits, whoever's calling these shots, you know, they need to really do some assessment because if you if you just put the code into like all the Sandrock kits, don't even put like on the box art itself because on the box art it says plus you know Gundam Breaker Mobile code. We don't need that. Just Gundam, you know, uh, just Gundam Sandrock, and then put the code in there and release it worldwide. Even it, I'm fine with the first batch stuff, but this is like just I don't know. I think it's really horrible. The suit is horrible anyways. So guys, don't be breaking the bank trying to get this thing. I mean, unless you just really like Sandrock, then I guess. Um, but. This suit is not going to be good. It's it's really bad. Um, so I'm, I don't know. I'm just kind of like whatever. I really want to do this video just for you guys to show y'all. And just to re reiterate once again, this is not a global code. This is a Japanese only code. So unfortunate, but hey, it kind of is what it is. Um, now I do want to take this time just to make a little tiny am uh, announcement. So I'm actually starting to work on a podcast pretty soon. Uh, I really, really wanted to do one, uh, probably like late last year was when I really uh, kind of had the, the passion for it, uh, but now it's kind of like starting to come together a little bit more. Uh, I got someone working on the artwork, which is uh, a buddy in the uh, Discord. Uh, I got some other guys working on artwork. I really just need a jingle, um, so I got some coworkers. I'm kind of talking to them, and hopefully I can get someone to, to you know do a little jingle for me, and of course I'm going to commission and you know pay them for their, uh, their hard work. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I definitely want to include a lot of Gundam, uh, Gundam Battle, Gunpla Warfare stuff in the podcast, along with just regular Gunpla, some anime, some video game stuff. So um, I'm hoping I can have your guys' support because when I do these little projects, I really need you know people's feedback because if I have zero feedback, then it kind of like lets me know, okay, this isn't something that people really want. And it has been like that with certain uh, projects in the past, such as uh, the Gunpla Poses. Some people were just really, it, it, I felt like it wasn't responsive, so when I did take it away, people kind of like, not necessarily got an uproar, but they were like, hey, why are you taking this away? We really like this segment, but, you know, you just, you got to be interactive with it. Uh, but, hey, other than that, guys, definitely appreciate all of you for watching these, uh, these you know, <laughs> video game segments. Um, I know for the people who've been watching me that I've been doing Gunpla and just Blamo, this is definitely a left turn. Um, you know, it's just a completely opposite of what I've been doing, but uh, I felt like I, I really do feel like these videos are really positive and I'm super happy to do these. I'm gonna keep doing it for as long as I can. As long as this game is actually like somewhat interesting, I'll keep making these videos. But if you can, guys, drop a like, you know, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment, let me know what you think about this suit, what you think about Bandai Spirit and Bandai Namco's practices with these codes. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.